On March 23, 2014, we will be witness to a rare historic water event in the West, one that spans two nations, the United States and Mexico, all in an unprecedented effort to restore a vital wetland. A wetland that is the lifeblood for people, communities, wildlife, and the birds that make up the Colorado River Delta. Water in this landscape is life. We are mimicking what nature used to do, you know, before the construction of the dams. It's one of the best opportunities for restoration in northwestern Mexico and probably in the region of the Sonoran Desert. One of the greatest rivers in the Western Hemisphere, the Colorado flows some 1,450 miles from the western slopes of the Colorado Rockies onward to its delta and finally into the Gulf of California. 100 years ago, the delta was a massive, lush region spanning over 3,000 square miles, filled with native vegetation and home to more than 300 species of birds and animals that supported a special way of life for native peoples who lived along its banks. But since 1960, the waters of the Colorado no longer reach its delta. Large dams, massive water diversions, and escalating drought conditions stopped the Colorado's flow to the sea, leaving the region withered and parched, a desiccated shell of its former self with equally powerful impacts on the landscape, the economy, and the way of life for the people and communities along the river. The Delta was given up for dead, but a series of flooding events in the Delta region in the 1980s caught everyone's attention. Parts of the Delta sprang back to life. Nature demonstrated its amazing resilience. A little bit of water can go a long way in reviving the once lush Delta. This resilience sparked a large-scale binational effort to restore life to the Delta. Nonprofit organizations, governments, and volunteers on both sides of the border have been working for two decades to bring this region back to life, tree by tree, acre by acre. Although the Delta in its entirety cannot be restored, many key areas can be brought back to life. All it will take is water. The binational restoration efforts in the Delta helped inspire an historic agreement between the governments of Mexico and the United States. Called Minute 319, the U.S. and Mexico agreed that working together to save the Delta was an important priority. The Minute represents a real step forward in the U.S.-Mexico border relationship. I think we have begun to move that relationship towards a real partnership between the United States and Mexico. And that's a partnership that we're gonna desperately need um, if we're gonna protect both the environment uh, and the ecosystem of the Delta, but also the agricultural users, the municipal users, the industries that depend on the Colorado River as a resource. So it's a combination of uh, restoring the habitat for the benefit of the people and the wildlife. Well, since Bienestar como para mí, para, para el futuro de nuestros hijos. Todos tenemos beneficio con este trabajo que estamos haciendo. On March 23rd, 2014, a surge of water will begin its flow into the Delta as part of a pulse flow of water. An event intended to mimic the natural spring flooding that used to take place annually in this region. As water is released from Morelos Dam, it's going to start traveling down this river corridor that really hasn't seen a substantial flow of water for more than a decade and hasn't seen regular flows since 1960. So what I expect to see is a revival of the landscape, not only here in the places where Sonoran Institute has been busy planting trees and bringing them back to life through human labor, but I expect to see that on a broader scale uh, throughout more of this region, the river doing the work that the river has done for eons. The pulse flow will bring water to these areas. The seeds from cottonwood and willow will land on the wet soil and they, they will germinate by the thousands. 
esta, estos volúmenes de agua que se van a, a destinar para el medio ambiente son de gran importancia porque no solo eh, establecen el propósito de, de preservar el medio ambiente, sino que también generan una, eh, un trabajo, un compromiso de los gobiernos y de los organismos no gubernamentales para preservar el medio ambiente en la región. It was a difficult agreement to reach, but it was a win-win and it serves to benefit both of our countries now and long into the future. This pulse flow is the next logical step in establishing a renewed habitat, but it is only a step. As part of a five-year interim plan, this pulse flow is a one-time event that will only last eight weeks, but a continuing base flow is needed to maintain the restoration the pulse flow will set in motion. Additional water rights are needed to assure that water can continue to flow into the region. Work that is underway by Raise the River, a binational coalition of organizations. Together, they are working to secure funding to buy water rights to maintain this lush region in perpetuity. Why is this important? It matters for the way of life of the native people of the river. And it matters for the economy of a region that extends from the mouth of the Colorado River Delta in Mexico, north across the border into the United States. This landscape had really been left to dry up and disappear. And it's almost as if we looked into the abyss and we saw something that we didn't like as human beings and had this response that said, we don't have to let it be that way. You can become part of these restoration efforts. Learn more at Raise the River.